Hello everyone and welcome to a new lecture. So here we're going to look at another use of derivatives and that is L'Hopital or L'Hospital rule. Okay, both pronunciations are okay. So if you remember, we used limits to find derivatives. However, here we're going to do the opposite. We're going to use derivatives in order to find limits. But if you remember, we solved limits. We solved problems regarding limits and we were okay. We didn't need any derivatives. So why would we use derivatives? Well, suppose we have a limit like that. The limit of x to the 2 minus 16 over x minus 4 as x approaches 4. Okay. Well, a way to solve this problem is by direct evaluation. Okay. So direct evaluation and directly evaluate 4 into the function. So it will be 16 minus 16 over 4 minus 4, you'll get 0 over 0. And we know that that is not acceptable. So what would we do? Well, we could factor. That is another method. Okay? So basically, we would have two brackets and a bracket right here. And then we would have x minus 4, x plus 4, and then x minus 4 right here. And these two would go away. And then I would just find the limit of this, x plus 4. Okay? So it will be 8. So that is a way that we solve these problems. However, suppose we have this limit. The limit as x approaches 0 of sine of x over x. Okay? Directly, if you evaluate x approaching 0 into sine of x over x, you would get 0 over 0. Okay? So that is direct evaluation. And that is not acceptable at all. We don't know what is 0 over 0. It is called an indeterminate form. And we're going to write it in a second. And there is no way I can factor this, and there is no conjugate. So what would I do? Well, in a case like that, such that I get 0 over 0, or I get positive or negative infinity over positive or negative infinity. So in these two situations, I use the L'Hopital or L'Hospital rule. Okay, so just to give you an idea, basically the rule says if we have two functions, so suppose this is f of x, and suppose this is g of x. Okay, suppose we have two functions like that, and we have a limit. And the limit of x approaches, let's say, c. Okay, this c could be any real number, or it could be positive or negative infinity. When you evaluate this c into your functions, into f of x and g of x, and it has to be like that, f of x over g of x, or g of x over f of x. But when you evaluate c into f of x and g of x, Either you get 0 over 0, okay, either you get this, or you get positive or negative infinity over positive or negative infinity. You get these two, okay? If you have these situations, and they are called indeterminate form, and we have other indeterminate forms, we're going to look at them in the next lecture. However, we will try to make those other indeterminate forms into these two, okay, into 0 over 0 and to positive negative infinity over positive and negative infinity. So if you have these two situations, we're going to use the L'Hopital or L'Hospital rule. And basically it says that instead of evaluating C into your functions to get 0 over 0 or positive and negative infinity over positive and negative infinity, find the derivatives, okay, find the derivative of the first function, put it on the derivative of the second function, okay? Just do that, and then evaluate. So instead of evaluating the limit as x approaches c of f of x over g of x, just find the derivative of f of x, put it on the derivative of g of x, and then evaluate c into them. Okay? You will get a different answer instead of 0 over 0. Okay? That will be the limit of the function. If still you get 0 over 0 or positive and negative infinity over positive or negative infinity, do the L'Hopital rule again. Find the second derivative. Okay? So let me delete all this and let me give you an example to show you exactly what we mean. We're going to solve this problem, sine of x, okay, over x as the limit approaches or as x approaches 0, okay, for the particular limit. So example 1, suppose I have the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of x over x. If we directly evaluate, it will be 0 over 0, and that is not acceptable. Okay, we do not want that. So, based on L'Hopital rule, okay, and this is an indeterminate form, 
what we're going to do is we're going to find the derivative of the first and put it on the derivative of the second. These are two functions. Okay, so basically we will have sine of x, the derivative of that, over x, the derivative of that, as the limit x approaches 0, which basically equals to the limit as x approaches 0 of cosine of x over 1. Okay, so here you see I no longer have a 0 right here and a 0 right here. I have cosine of x and cosine of 0 actually equals to 1. So it equals to 1 over 1, it equals to 1. So no longer it is an indeterminate form, okay? It's very, very easy. All you have to do if you have an indeterminate form like that is just to find the derivative of the top and then put it on the derivative of the bottom. Do not make the mistake to use the quotient rule. That is not the idea. The idea is to find the derivative of the first, put it on the derivative of the second, okay? Or the derivative of the top, put it on the derivative of the bottom, as you can see it right here, as simple as that. That is the L'Hopital or L'Hospital rule, okay? To clarify this more, and if you remember the idea of a limit, what basically this means is for this particular function, as you approach zero from both sides on the x-coordinate, okay, what happens to the y-values? What does the y-values approach? Well, let's go to Dismos and let's actually see this in action, okay? So as you can see, this is the graph of sine of x over x, okay? What is the value of the function at 0? Well, at 0, the value of the function is undefined. We don't have any y value, okay? However, as I get closer and closer on the x-coordinate, okay, from 0, what happens to my y? Well, from this side, as I get closer and closer to x equaling to 0, so as you can see right here, x equals to minus 0.4, it gets closer and closer and closer to 0. It seems like my y value, watch it, it seems like it goes toward 1. Okay, and from this side, actually, it does go toward 1. And that was the result of the calculation that we made. Okay, as x approaches 0, my y values get closer and closer to 1. And that is what the L'Hopital rule helped us to find. Okay, because we couldn't find the result of the limit in the conventional ways that we have been doing so far. Okay, so let's go back to the drawing boards and let's solve another problem using L'Hopital or L'Hospital rule. So example two, suppose I have the limit as x approaches infinity, okay, of 2x plus 7 over 3x to the 2 minus 5, and I'm going to find the limit of this, okay, so if I directly evaluate this, I'll have infinity over infinity, that is not acceptable, that is an indeterminate form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use L'Hopital rule or L'Hospital rule. I'm going to find the derivative of the top and put it on the derivative of the bottom and then evaluate. Okay? So basically, I will have, so the limit as x approaches infinity, the derivative of this will be 2. Okay? Because the derivative of 2x is just 2, the derivative of 7 is 0, so it will be 2. How about the derivative of this? Well, it will be 6x. Okay? 6x. And this equals to 1 over 3x. So if I directly evaluate, I'll have 1 over 3 times infinity, which equals to 1 over 3 times infinity. 1 over 3 times infinity is just 0, okay? So that is fine. As long as I don't have infinity over infinity or negative infinity over in negative infinity or I don't have 0 over 0. But having value over infinity, that is totally fine. So I get 0. So the limit of this function as x approaches infinity actually equals to 0, okay? Let me give you another example. So example... 3. Suppose I have the limit as x approaches 0 of x tan of x over sine of 3x. Okay, so if you directly evaluate, it will be 0 times tan of x. It will be 0 over 0. So it will be 0 over 0. So definitely I'm going to use the L'Hopital rule. I'm going to find the derivative of the top and then put it on the derivative of the bottom. No matter how much you have the tendency to find the derivative as a quotient rule, don't do that. Just find the derivative of this and then put it on the derivative of that. So basically equals to the limit as x approaches 0, okay, of the limit of this, the derivative of, the derivative of this is the derivative of the first one multiplied by the second. So it will be 1 times tan of x plus the derivative of tan of x multiplied by x. So x times secant squared of x okay, over the derivative of this is 
3 cosine of 3 x. Okay, so basically what we're going to get is the limit as x approaches 0. So tan of 0 is 0 plus x times secant squared of 0. So 0 times this will be just 0. And here I will have 3 cosine of 3 times 0 it will be cosine of 0. So it will be 1. Okay, 3 times 1 it will be so I'll have 0 over 3, which equals to 0. It's totally fine. Okay? Suppose I have the limit as x approaches 1 of x to the 2 minus 1 over x to the 2 plus 3x minus 4. Okay? So if I directly evaluate, I'll have 1 minus 1 over 1 plus 3 minus 4, so it equals to 0 over 0. So I'm going to use the logical rule. I'm going to find the derivative of top and then put it on the derivative of the bottom and evaluate and see what will I get. So basically it will equal to the limit as x approaches 1 of 2x over 2x plus 3. Okay, if I directly evaluate, I will have 2 times 1, it will be 2, over 2 times 1 plus 3, it will be 5. And actually the limit equals to 2 over 5. Okay? It's very, very easy. You just have to find the derivative. And that is the usage of derivative. Okay? So let's go to the next lecture. Let's see other indeterminate forms.